Some 280 people have died in ISIS-linked attacks in Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Bangladesh, and Turkey. This comes not long after the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history in Orlando. So in the last hour, I spoke with Congressman Adam Schiff. He's the ranking Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee. And I asked him about how many of those attacks he believes ISIS is responsible for. Well, what we believe at this point is they're responsible for all of the above, that they inspired the homegrown radicalism of someone like the Orlando shooter, uh, that they were behind uh, foreign fighters from ISIS uh, going into Turkey uh, to commit that terrible act at the Istanbul airport, uh, that they inspired local radicals uh, in Bangladesh for that uh, horrible uh, attack on that restaurant that killed about 20. Uh, and we're directly responsible for this uh, mega explosion in Baghdad. And we're getting reports today that there were multiple bombings in Saudi Arabia as well. All this at the end of Ramadan. All this, I think, in response to the fact that ISIS is losing ground in Iraq and Syria and they're lashing out worldwide. But so what in terms of do you feel like the strategy then is working? Because we've seen a lot more airstrikes against ISIS. We've heard about U.S. Uh, you know, taking people out in terms of ISIS senior leadership, but yet they're lashing out. How... Is this working? Well, the military strategy is making slow but very appreciable progress because you are seeing now uh, ISIS in Iraq contains 45% uh, less territory than they did. They control that, uh, about 20% less territory in Syria. So we are gaining militarily on the ground, but we're not gaining much in terms of fighting the ideological underpinnings of ISIS. Uh, it's also very hard to protect uh, the, the country as well as uh, our European allies and other allies from these foreign fighters returning home. Well, we're going to have to do a better job intelligence sharing. We're going to have to do a better job of hardening our defenses here at home. And that's a big issue. Also a big issue is the issue of guns. We had that sit-in in Congress on your birthday, um, and you were pushing for a vote on gun control. The vote never happened. Congress went out of session. Congress comes back in session tomorrow. Are we going to see another sit-in, and do you think we're going to see a vote? Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, the speaker is saying that he's going to allow a vote, but it looks like now the vote they want to have is a vote on an NRA-approved bill, uh, which will do little or nothing uh, if indeed it's something supported by the NRA. Uh, but here's the thing. Um, there are a number of things, obviously, we can do to protect ourselves in this country from terror. One of the things that we can do uh, is make it harder for terrorist organizations or people inspired by this radical propaganda to kill lots of people in short order. They can do that by taking planes so we harden our airports. Uh, they can also do that by getting assault weapons with extended ammunition clips, and we need to make that more difficult for people who want to commit acts of terror. And in terms of politics, it's a big week. President Obama is going to be with Hillary Clinton for the first time tomorrow campaigning. Democratic National Convention we're both going to is a few weeks away. Who do you want to see Hillary name as VP? Uh, I don't know. I think there are a lot of great choices out there. I'm particularly close uh, to a few of them, Tim Kaine as well as Javier Becerra. Uh, but I, I think there are, are some great choices out there, and uh, I would be the last to be able to advise the, uh, the secretary about that. As I said to the congressman, a nice, safe political yeah. answer not to make anybody mad at you. We hope to speak to Congressman Schiff in Philadelphia when the Democratic National Convention gets underway in just a few weeks. More demonstrations in Brazil ahead of the summer.